Gomaya Reservoir It is a special type of catheter system that is commonly used in neurosurgery for aspiration of CSF or to deliver drugs in the central nervous system. It has a long slender catheter the tip of which is placed in one of the lateral ventricles of the brain and a reservoir which is implanted under the scalp since its invention by dr ayub khan umaya a neurosurgeon by profession in 1963 it has undergone some modifications for current use currently umaya reservoir can be used to treat brain tumors or infection by directly delivering the medications like chemotherapy or antibiotics or antifungal medications into the cerebrospinal fluid it can also be used to aspirate csf for diagnostic or monitoring purpose and to relieve raised intracranial pressure due to excess csf in this video we will see how to tap csf from umaya reservoir this is the portion of the scalp where umaya is inserted the suture line marks the border of the umaya reservoir we will tap csf from the middle portion of this area a butterfly cannula is very frequently used to tap umaya reservoir here we used 22 gauge butterfly cannula apart from this the other equipments needed are gloves betadine spirit gauze piece and csf collecting vials now we start the procedure under strict aseptic condition by wearing sterile gloves and cleaning the area with spirit or sterilium after that we clean the area with betadine soaked cotton or gauze piece as per the standard dressing draping procedure it is a three step process first sterilium or spirit then betadine and again sterilium or spirit here it is the third step where we thoroughly clean the betadine with spirit now we wait for few seconds to dry up the area meanwhile we keep our butterfly needle and the csf collecting vials just by the side of the puncture here we see a butterfly cannula also known as winged infusion set or scalp vein set which was previously used commonly for venipuncture or intravenous injection purpose nowadays it is seldom used as it is replaced by modern iv cannula now the needle of the butterfly cannula is inserted at the mid position of the suture perpendicular to the scalp and just after the insertion here we see the csf coming out through the tube and is being collected in the csf collecting vials here we collect csf in multiple vials to send few of the diagnostic routine tests and also to relieve the intracranial pressure the amount of csf to be taken out is guided by the patient's age and underlying condition a supervision of neurologist or neurosurgeon is recommended for that this procedure should be carried out under a cardiac monitoring at least for heart rate and spo2 note how the csf is being drained drop by drop 
in the collecting vials. The CSF looks a bit straw colored due to its high protein content. There are several other methods of CSF diversion namely external ventricular drain and internally ventriculoperitoneal shunt. CSF diversion remains a principal treatment strategy for hydrocephalus where there is accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid within the brain due to excess production or impaired drainage. CSF diversion is also used as a treatment modality for idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Once the desired amount of CSF is drained, it is time to take out the needle. Small amount of tincture iodine is added on a sterile gauge piece. The needle is taken out and the puncture site is covered with the tincture iodine swab. For dressing purpose, the gauge piece is well covered with a leucoplast ensuring the seal all around. 